Hi, I'm Maggie Gill of Fire Science, and this film is part of a series on tropile laps and beekeeping. If you're a beekeeper, you're probably familiar with the parasitic mite Varroa. Varroa originated in Asia and infests the Asian honeybee Apis serrana. It jumped species to Western honeybees Apis mellifera when these were introduced to Asia at the start of the 20th century. Since then, Varroa has spread to almost every country where Western honeybees are found and is one of the main causes of colony losses globally. Tropolalaps are similar to Varroa, they also originate in Asia and infest giant Asian honeybees Apis dorsata and Apis laboriosa. They've also jumped species to infest Western honeybees. Beekeepers in Europe and North America are becoming more aware of tropolalaps because these mites are spreading westwards and they were detected in Europe and parts of Russia for the first time in 2024. The concern is that tropolalaps are more damaging than Varroa because they can reproduce more quickly, transmit different strains of viruses such as deformed wing virus which cause high colony mortality and they can potentially survive on alternative hosts such as rats and bumblebees. The biggest problem is that they are smaller and generally remain undetected by beekeepers. Tropolalaps are not very well understood and there's been a lot less research into them than other bee pests such as Varroa. It's not fully understood how these mites are surviving, reproducing and overwintering in temperate climates such as Russia and China, for example. Another big issue is that it's much more difficult to treat colonies with tropolalaps because they spend a lot more time within the brood and have a shorter phoretic phase than Varroa. And also, most beekeepers probably haven't even heard of tropolalaps, and this is an issue because beekeepers really need to be aware of this threat and proactive about monitoring. When tropolalaps reaches a new area, it's been the beekeepers that have detected it, and unfortunately, this has always come too late for beekeepers, researchers, and government officials to eradicate the pest, and this is why it's continued to spread. If we're going to try to stop tropolalaps from spreading to the UK, we need you as beekeepers to educate yourselves and be proactive about monitoring for tropolalaps. So please follow these videos and visit our website for more information.